Hello and welcome to the 70th video in this series programming a chess engine in C. So the last thing we need to do as part of our protocol as I said at the end of the last video we need to put in some code that allows the during the search to detect without blocking whether there is input waiting in the standard input. And this is done by peaking the standard input. And this is code that I was going to take from the Winboard forum but in the end I've taken and adapted very slightly the code from a really good engine by a very very good programmer on this site here and I've put in the code as well it's called OlliThink it comes with the source code there's a Java version you can play versus it online the guy Oliver Brausch who programmed it is extremely competent and good and it's for the size of the code it's a very fast very good engine that's worth looking at but his code that he made a long long time ago for peaking the input has been reused by a lot of people and it's exactly what's going to happen in this video so it's not going to be much other than a copy and paste and I'd recommend you do the same so we need to do two things one is we actually need to see if there's input waiting and if there is we're going to assume if there is input waiting the GUI is telling us to stop in my experience that's the simplest way to deal with things technically we should only respond to a stop or a quit but I've always found it best just to simply break off when the GUI has interrupted us for whatever reason. The only thing we will do however is we need to read what's in the input in case it is a quit command because if it is then we also need to quit when we come out of the search not just wait for more input otherwise the engine will just be hanging there. So the first thing that's going to come in and like I said please download this and just uh, paste it into miscellaneous is we're going to have the input is waiting function and there's a version here to work on Unix and then the version here to work on good old Windows and it should tell you something about the two operating systems that one of them is about six lines long and the other one is a lot more than six lines long but basically it's about getting the input handle from the standard input and then peaking on the standard input and seeing if anything's there available, yes or no. The other thing we need to do then, if there is input waiting, we then need to read those bytes out of the input and that's what we have here, read input. And here we send in also our search info, I'll put this below the input waiting function. We send in our search info, we read in then the bytes that are waiting in the standard input and if we have something and it's quit then we set quit to true because input is waiting we actually set info stopped equal to true as well so we will stop if any input is waiting and all that remains is simply to take this read put read input function and put this into here and then we'll call read input inside the checkup section here. So when we're checking up now we'll call read input with our info and that then will set stop to true or quit to true as well if we actually have any input. So we can save all of this and that's it. We're ready in the next video to start Vice up in a GUI. I shall download a weak UCI engine and we shall watch it playing against an opponent assuming I don't find any horrible bugs or anything between now and the next video. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.